The exhibition features seven different artists, either previously or currently based in Saigon, and functions as a snapshot of the Vietnamese art scene today. It begins in the foyer with a video from the artist Quinn Lam, in which the artist wrote those words over and over on the floor and walls of the gallery. The concept came from a traumatic experience in which a Vietnamese American man accused her of being a communist spy and locked her inside his house. On the next wall we have an installation by the artist Nia Dang. One of the artist's first installations made while studying at the Art Institute of Chicago. This work marks the beginning of the artist's ongoing engagement with Jungian archetypes and family dynamics. Next we have an installation by the artist Lei Huang Bic Fung, which consists of 300 ceramic fingers mounted on the wall. Titled The Milky Way, it speaks to the way in which we're all connected and yet separate at the same time. Moving into the main gallery space, we have three paintings by the artist Bao Vung from his series The Crossing. Painted entirely in black oil paint using a thick impasto technique, the works depict waves under the moonlight and were inspired by the artist's experience of leaving Vietnam by boat as a refugee when he was only one year old. Speaking of separation, next up we have two large-scale charcoal drawings by the artist Twin Nguyen. Created during the ongoing pandemic, they speak to the feelings of isolation that can come with the experience of sheltering in place. Next to the drawings by Nguyen, we have a small sculpture by the artist Cam San, which consists of silkworm cocoons contained inside a plexiglass box. The cocoons are a signature medium for this artist, and they're inscribed here with the 10th century poem Nam Quoc Son Ha, which is popularly considered Vietnam's first declaration of independence. The final work in the show is a digital video by the new media artist Cao Huang Long, displayed by projector in the back room. Consisting of abstract glitches which fail to coalesce into anything substantive, the work is ironically titled Memories of 88, referencing the Sino-Viet belief that the number 8 symbolizes infinite happiness.